Welcome generals to Ray Rivers Gaming and the ultimate Admiral Age of Sail where we are playing the battle. So in this video we'll be fighting acting captain. Okay. Can't fight this battle several times. Um, I'm gonna try something a little bit different on this one. We'll see how it works out. Okay, so they're saying, "Whoa, we don't know what's going on here." Okay, all right. so we'll find out very soon. Skip and halt. Okay, so first we need to let's look at the victory conditions here. All must be fulfilled. Save HMS Richmond. Hold the battery. Okay. So we go over here. Uh, other people have done videos on this. It's not a difficult battle. Here's the village. You have to, you're going to have to land marines here and take this village and then come up here and take the battery. And of course, you have guns that are aimed out here, which I don't know. I don't know. So putting, putting ships over here may not be a great idea because eh? those batteries just cover the beach and then let's see here okay these guns these guns are pointed over here towards this beach so we don't really want to get over here either so a little bit closer we do have a couple that are aimed out this way so we don't want to get close to that. There's the um, there's the end of the map. We don't want to run out of that, or we'll time out and adios. So, so let's look at what we got going here. So we're we're in HMS Richmond, and she is a fifth-rate Diana class frigate. Okay, efficiency is forty-seven, which is pretty darn good. Okay, our thickness. Notice the thickness of her of her hull and all that. Okay, nineteen inches on either side, and as usual, the stern is always very poorly protected. And she has um, she has uh, six pound guns. Okay. 14 of those and 20, 26 12 pounder. Okay. Look at that penetration distance. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So, so she's doing good. Okay. So, what are we? We're up against two Spanish ships here. We have the, the Galga here, which is a two star. Okay, which means she's got a very good uh, crew. And the Mercedes. Um, together, that's 260 men. If you look at my guy, we have 280 guys. Uh, we have about 40 guns. So probably pretty close on the guns. The two versus him. And we're, the other battles, what we're looking at is always trying to um, um, get two on one. In this battle, what we're going to have to try to do is we're going to have to try to keep the Richmond one-on-one, um, -on -one, if possible, against the Galaga. So, let's go. Whoop, 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 hold. I want to put her at full shield, full sh uh, sails. I like to, sorry about all of that. I like to have her to be as maneuver as possible maneuvering as much as possible so I want her to come no I want her to come this way so I want her to fire the Galaga there we go keep firing at her if possible I come back around here Okay, now halt. Now we look at the Thiris. Uh, Thiris. Okay, let's take a look at her. 
her crew is much less efficient. She's a brig, seventh rate brig. Look at the thickness of her armor is very poor. Look at she's only got six pound guns. This ship, if you get it into battle, is going to get ripped apart. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center like like let's see let's see like out to here I'm gonna send her over there okay she should be able to do that all right and this is gonna be a one on two battle off we go that's mainly wanting See, we'll just mess the Mercedes apart. We'll just tear it apart. Okay, so we'll just turn right in. Turn right in on them. Turn right in on them. Because we're not too far from the end of this map. Galga, I don't know what's going to happen to the Galga there. She'll bounce around on the map there, I guess. So just fight the Mercedes for the moment. Run her. Hard time handling this. Fire on. That's a Dorset. Ah, oh, it's a Dorset. Okay, Dorset, you go over there as well. Dorset. Come over there. That's your that's your supply ships. Here. No, you go this way. Yeah, just bang on the the goggle there. Shaky. And so they're sh trying to shoot our boys over here. Farn him, farn him. Yeah, just, just tearing up these these boys. One thing we don't want to do is we don't want them to go over that way. So I'm going to turn this way. See if I can get them to follow me. Look over here. Because they're messing with our troop ships. What are you doing over here? There it is. Can I go over there? Come on, let's see if we can get them to turn after us. Oof. So we're in a bad position there. Uh, they're after our troop ships. This way. Come on this way. Try to bring them to us over here. It's not really great strategy here. 
I should have had these guys over here by themselves. Maybe what happened, I think, is by sending the Ferres over here that um, to keep her out of the battle, I actually I actually caused these guys to break off. So that they would uh, head over in that direction, so... Go, 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 go. Go, 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 sandwich. They've got the wind. So, we're on big hurting, actually. Sandwich, especially. any speed so we've got to turn over here let's see if we can get these guys out of town come on get out of town boys okay now we're back in the battle here So that was a mistake, I think. But I'd like to use her for for support of my amphibious ops, so we'll see if that'll work. Come on, turn that way. Richmond can take it. Fire on her. On her. Keep firing on her. Keep firing on her. Oh, yeah. Keep firing on her. I'm going to have her slow down. Keep firing on her. I want to take out the Galga. There we go. Get some sail on here. Ugh, I've had a midshipman wrecked. Right. So, as you can see, between the two ships, the Richmond can handle the job, I think, pretty good. Once she gets broadside on both of these guys, she'll just rip them both. Here, Mercedes, just taking it. Bringing shock, yikes. She can take them both. Slow. Just let them have it. Look at the Galaga now, she's flooding. Mercedes. Looks like she's, has she lost the mass? She lost the, I don't know, she's lost the mass. That's what, there we go. Now I'm just gonna blast them both. She went out. She's dead. Let's put on some sail here. Come around. Come around here and finish off the Mercedes.
I'd love to board her, but just too too close to the too too close to the to the border here. She's trying to get across. She's getting more men. All right, so let's turn around. Get the wind behind us. Where we will beat the snot out of her. It's slow. Do that. The problem is now we're we're way over here out of the wind, so We're doing only 2.3 knots. And so we'll never be able to get back into this battle over here. There we go. Halt. I don't think I don't even think she can get a back around into the wind to be quite honest with you. We'll try it. There we go. She's doing a whole three knots. Oop, what happened over here? No, come on out here, mate. Come on out here. No, come on this way. Come on. You come over there. You come over there. How are you doing? Yeah, you're fine. They're going to just run away, these guys. the wind against us so we'll never go and get to her okay and she will never she will never be able to get back into this battle okay and you'll see because she turns she'll never get into the battle so we're not going to worry about her all right okay so that is over here come in all right come on now All right, so I want to position the Thetis first, okay. Because once again, you have a, a warship here who can provide artillery support. So I say, why not? See, she's still in the water. Minus one. Just anchor. Okay. 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 Now this, we need her to come. Okay, slow down a bit. You see her guns. She gets in close here. We do not want to be where she anybody can shoot us, so 
slow reel down here and turn. Get those guns facing the um, village. There's art. I think there's an artillery piece over here as well, but you don't see him much. Okay, get ready to drop anchor here. Yeah, drop anchor. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, so Dorset, you come over here. Come on over there. Come over there. Like I say, I mean, when you get on the beach here, they'll be shooting at you, so. I mean, you could come over here, I guess. But, man, that's a long walk, huh? That's a long walk to get over there, so. Let's get her over there. Get her over there. Get her over there. And so, you know, I mean, can you shoot him then? Just start shooting, man. I guess we're in a kind of a cover. Over there. Anchor. This guy just got beat up. It's my fault, I think, because I didn't pull the other two ships away from uh, from the transports. And I really didn't want Theros to get into uh, into a battle with them because they would have just torn her to pieces. So the best is just keep her out of the way, have her available for shore bombardment. So undoubtedly, this could be done better. Okay. Come on. But. That's where we're going to do it. Guys coming in here. Okay. Drop your anchor. I'm gonna get over here. See, he's, he's having some effect here, huh? Never underestimate these um, warships, even with little six pounders. They will chip away. All right, so let's start getting rid of our Marines. Okay, everybody, into the boats. Into the boats, into the boats. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're going to slow down to double speed here. Let's go. Go. Come on, boys. Down to 75. Militia down there. See there? It's pounding away. Alright, so let me see if I can get down here a little bit closer. Come on. There we go. Get over there. Other guy, get over there. Come over there. Remember, we've got artillery over here. Here. Come on over there. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Get over there. Come on, mate. Get out of your boat. Over here. Over 
over there. Come on. So now we can hear the battle pretty well. Get up there. We have artillery coming down on us. Friendly fire. That must be our our gun here. Hey, fire on him, mate. There we go. Come on over here. Over there. There you go. There you go. Over there. This guy's going to be taking a lot of heat here. Over, over there. You guys. Fire on him. Yep. Come on. Take him out. Here. Go far on him. No, get over there. This guy is going to kill that. getting just really smacked. Far on him? Far on him? No, far on him. Yeah, well, we have to go get him. So come on up there. You stay back here. You stay back here. And go get him. Go get him. Okay. Alright. Alright, see fire. You guys come over here. You guys come over here. Come on. Go get them. Okay, we still haven't actually captured this place. So I'll bring these guys up. These guys, we can just keep chasing them. That's our stern gun firing. Uh, fire, fire! That's pretty cool, with our stern gun firing on them. Come on. So like I said, it's a pretty easy battle. Just don't get your ship sunk by the fortifications. Don't get the, the Theres um, um, destroyed for no reason because she just can't stand up to the other Spanish ships. I'll just push in on these guys here. No, come on up here. Come on up here. Come on. Let's go kill these guys. Really, I should have tried to charge them, but, you know. Notice how she's doing. Thetis has done quite a good job, actually. Run up here. Run. Good. Stop running. Unless you have shattered, so they can come back over here now. Let's go bring it back over here so that they can get re ammoed up. Their supplies are low. Alright. There's a poor old Richmond over here. Not much we can do there. A 
so you see, you know, um, the guns on those ships pommeled a couple of those units really badly, and that and that means less casualties for your troops. In the end, you know, the sandwich there took a bunch, took a beating, and and would require a lot of repair costs. Dorset also took some, but I just couldn't have her fighting up against the other two. They would have just um, totally annihilated us. Now notice we have um, two two-star units here. Let's take a look at these guys. 55 efficiency, discipline training plus morale, marksmanship training. Yeah, that's pretty good. Those guys are pretty good, eh? And these guys have the stamina perk and the firearms course, and they're pretty good too. 46. All right. These guys, on the other hand, down at 27. They have the discipline. They also have. Let's see how these guys are doing. 18. Hmm. How about this guy? This guy's pretty good, eh? This guy's pretty good. Although the 60th regular American I would I guess that would be interpreted as is the best. And the volunteers are the worst here, so so what is what is he showing? Yeah, is he's showing efficiency pretty low too, so Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this guy here. You, you, you and you, we're gonna bring you guys I'm gonna bring you guys over there. <clears throat> now there was an artillery piece over there. I think we saw it briefly. We don't want to run over. We don't want to go up in the open. You never want to go into the open. Okay, when you have possible artillery facing you. So we'll just stay here, and we should have support here from our ship. That should be that should be sufficient for our. Uh, those infantry so we just get these guys bring them up here see there's militia coming open fire on them I don't know but I think you see they're getting shot at by artillery. I'm going to pull them back a bit more. Everybody's pretty inefficient at longer ranges. All right. So now these boys are going to come up here. What we're going to do is we're going to attack these defenses from the rear, of course. Like I say, you've almost certainly seen, if, you, if you've watched this, I don't know why, if you've seen uh, other people play this thing, because it's fairly easy. Forward. Uh, there's a cowboy. Come forward. These guys can be a real nuisance, so I think it's worth deviating to try to shoot them. So I'm going to come over this way. And we're going to try to... Um, this may be a, not a very good idea, but we're going to go over this way, and we're going to kill these guns and that those horses if necessary. Forward. 
This, this should be a battery also facing outward. Okay, take the straight. There's their horses, dragoons, their enemy kind. You guys shoot at him, shoot at him. Charge. Now you shoot at him, you shoot at him. So there we go. Cavalry has been demolished. Now we just go over here. On him. Let's get these guys over in the flank over here because if not, what happens is these guys will run all the way to the edge of the map, and sometimes it can be really difficult just to. Um, okay, hold your fire right there. You're firing on him. Yep. So see there. So now he's going to have a heck of a time getting out of there. Charge. Oop, come on back. Come on back. Charge. Between the two of them. Hopefully. Ugh, look at that. He escaped. How did he escape that, man? Come on up here. How could you escape that? They're having a hard time getting up. They will get up here and go join these forces over here, unfortunately. So let's bring them all back up here again. Now we're going to get a triple, triple speed. Oh, there's a cannon. Oof. Oh, that's, I think that's, a, those artillery guys. It's actually artillery, that's actually infantry. All right, come over here, over there. You guys here, far on them. Forward. A few slivers coming out over here. Halt. Hold your ground. Then we'll come over here. You guys come over here. Burn them. No. You guys find them. Come on over here. This way. Another one wounded. Have a big attack going on down here, eh? Come on, artillery. Let him have it. Let him have it. Over there. Okay, you guys come on down here. One of our guys has retreated. We're gonna keep on keep coming over here. Our ship should be wailing on those guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that. Find them. Stay there. Secure the battery here. Come on up. Come on over there. You guys come over there. Yeah, we got them all running over here towards the um 
on him. Come on over here. Right into our artillery. Right into our the range of our uh, gun. Okay. Over there. Over there. Over there. Throwing them. Throwing them. And how you doing, sirs? Okay. Looks like he's doing okay. Come on over here. You come on over here and you shoot him. You gotta chase these guys. Shoot him. Okay, and he's destroyed. Come down here. He's coming down. I thought I saw him go down that way. And there, now our gun is able to fire on their gun. Uh, they disappeared. Fire on their gun. Come on down here. That guy fled that way. Yep, keep firing on that gun. Now we got them in a really bad position. You come over there. You come over there. Okay, good man. Go shoot on that. And over here. There we go, got rid of the gun. Get into the gun. Capture the gun. That's the easy way to do it. Everybody now is pretty much dead. Come on back here. Right, let's see, come on back here a little bit. Chilly, get back over there. You guys go back over there. Guys have to go running after them again. So we'll take it like this. Spread them across like that. We might need one guy down here with this gun just in case. Yeah, so he ran over there. Come on over there, boys. I think this is going to come out pretty well, though, actually. Move forward. Go over there. Come over there. Forward. Come on. Get over there. Stop. Retreat. Where are you? Where did you guys go? So they ran away somewhere. Well, we could call it quits there. I think I'll call it quits there. We, um, we, um, we did a pretty good job, I think, here. These guys had 163 kills and only 38 deaths. 100 kills, only 39 deaths. This one got chewed to pieces. 14 kills and 95 deaths. Oof. That's really low on their efficiency. This guy had two efficiency. And he got 123 kills and 43 deaths. So we lost him though. And that, that should mean that once he's put in there that they will have a much higher efficiency, I think. Okay. So I think we'll call it quits there. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like sweeping around like that and coming down, and most especially 
putting that ship right there where it can it can just control this whole area so let's go ahead and finish so as we can see um, we lost 372 men and they lost 900 infantry, 227 crew. I mean, you know, I mean that's that's a pretty good uh, that's a pretty good ratio there. I think 372 to 8 900. That's almost three to one. Officers, it won't list it, but we had a bunch of it and a bunch of weapons. So good mission. Well done, chaps. Extra round of rum for everybody. And let's not get drunk so that we can see you in the next video. Adios.